Good morning, friends. Welcome to another episode of the story of the storyteller. Friends, as you all know, BJP and our Prime Minister Narendra Modi has started a new uh, you know, agenda for the last few weeks. They have been pushing for one nation, one election. Let us see what is this one nation, one election theory. Friends, as you all know, India is a parliamentary system of democracy. It's not a presidential type of democracy. Moreover, Indian electoral process is a three-tiered democracy. The first tier is a par is uh, you know the general election which uh, happens for all the parliamentary seats MPs. The second tier is all the assembly elections which happens for various assemblies of the states and union territories. And the third tier is the local body elections which have for which uh, uh, urban uh, local body elections happen for municipalities, corporations, and you know all the lower strata of the urban bodies, as well as you know panchayat system which happens for rural, for village panchayats, taluk panchayats and the district jilla panchayats which happen. Friends, let us all understand that this one nation, one election is an attempt by our Prime Minister Narendra Modi and BJP to subvert democracy. BJP wants to kill parliamentary system of democracy, subdue federalism and pave way for centralization of power by fooling people every five years at the center and at the states. It is also a tool to kill regional aspirations and force people to follow a centralized agenda which helps fascist and communal forces in this country. These forces not only want one nation, one election, but they also want one nation, one religion. They also want one nation, one party. They also want one nation, one leader. They want one nation, one language. They want to push Hindi on all the non-Hindi speaking states. They want one nation, one culture. They want the RSS culture across India. They want one nation, one ideology. India is a diverse country. They forget that India is a nation of nations. India is a nation of diverse culture, languages. India thrives on diversity. Unity in diversity is the principle of our constitution. It's an essence of our constitution. Unfortunately, our people have been conditioned to a fake narrative of pseudo-nationalism and hyper-nationalism. They have fallen prey twice to a leader who has consistently fooled people to remain in power. Now he understands that it has become increasingly difficult for him if there are many elections all through the five years. Now people understand that Modi is a failed leader. All his policies for the last seven years, if you see, right from demonetization to handling of economy, economy is in dire states today. People across the spectrum of the society are, are suffering. Right from youth, the farmers, the poor, the migrants, the lower middle class. Look at the fuel prices. Look at the prices of cooking oil, LPG. People are suffering. And Modi knows this. Now, he doesn't want frequent elections. Because he knows that people will re ultimately realize that he is a failed leader. All his policies, you know, like jobs, social security, quality of life of people, CA, NRC, COVID handling, he has failed. Now, when the economy is in dire states, he knows that if elections are regularly held in the states and all, people will know our emperor is indeed naked. So, to hide this uh, naked nudity or to hide his uh, failures, now, no, uh, Mr. Modi and BJP has changed the goalposts. They are trying, they know that they cannot fool people forever. You can fool some people sometimes, all people sometimes, but you can never fool all people all times is what Modi has come to know. So now he is playing a ploy of changing our constitution to bring one nation, one election, so that he need, he can fool people only once 
in five years. So once he fools, he gets power at the center and all the states. We have to understand, my dear friends, why is Modi and BJP uh, so hungry for power? They are so hungry for power because Ambedkar has written our constitution. And this constitution written by our Ambedkar is the, the, any government of the day cannot change the basic fundamental uh, framework of our constitution. So I have a fear and we all have to fear this communal and fascist body because I think there is a ploy by this Sanghi, RSS, BJP and Modi to gain power across the nation once so that they can browbeat the opposition and change the basic framework of our constitution. This is what I fear. Today, Modi is increasingly finding it difficult to win elections in Kerala, Tamil Nadu, you know, West Bengal, you know, Pondicherry, states, you know, different uh, diverse states is finding it difficult with his uniform uh, ideology. So that is where uh, we get a feeling that Modi is hell-bent on bringing uh, one election, uh, one nation uh, theory so that you know, he can fool Indians all at once. Friends, Modi should understand or he forgets to understand that as per our constitution, nation in India, also known as Bharat, is a union of states. Without states, India is nothing. India, it's a sovereign, socialist, secular, democratic republic with a parliamentary system of governance. In a parliamentary system of governance, the prime minister is one among the equals in his cabinet. He is not supreme. He has, he acts as per the advice and recommendation of the uh, cabinet. For every decision of his, he has to take uh, you know, approval of the cabinet. So in a parliamentary system of democracy, no, this uh, one man ship will not work. Therefore, I feel Modi is hell bent on subverting democracy and changing our parliamentary system of democracy to a presidential system of democracy. Let us understand what are the possible effects when one nation, one uh, election happens. See, there is a 77% chance, according to one survey, that people may vote in a similar pattern for the state as well as for the center so when this happens all the regional parties you no know, like uh, you no know, biju janata dal telugu desham aadmk aadmk you no know, janata dal secular in karnataka shiv sena in maharashtra it they will be in a you no know, different platform they cannot compete with national parties the president who is the last you uh, know to keep the checks and balances in a democracy may be unceremoniously removed if he tries to act to protect national interest. When they have powers in all the states, in the center, any president who acts to who acts uh, against uh, the prime minister, if the uh, prime minister acts funny, he might be impeached and removed because they have power across the states. Now it is not possible. Staggered elections keeps the checks and balances which is essential in a democracy. Now with no staggered elections, no, once you gain the power, you fool the people and gain power, for five years, the people are at the mercy at you. You can do whatever you want. They will never have another opportunity. But whenever there is staggered elections, people continuously will have a vote in their hand to bring you down. National parties may try to push hegemony, hegemony on the regional parties and regional aspirations which will kill the federal structure of our constitution. Voters may be fooled all at once by a leader who may try to alter the basic framework of our constitution, as I earlier said. There is a threat of a presidential form over the present parliamentary system. He can change the system of our democracy. This will lead to centralization of power instead of decentralization of power. Democracy is all about choice. Who is, by telling one nation, one election, one nation, one party, one election, only so many parties, you are, you are curtailing the choice given to the people. In a democracy, the choice should uh, no, uh, survive, the choice should thrive. Only when there is choice for the people, people can vote for whichever alternative that is there, either BJP or Congress or Third Front or regional parties or communists, 
That choice is an essence in a democracy. That choice Modi and BJP are trying. Consistently, this BJP and Modi government have been hitting at the constitutional mechanisms which have been built over five to six decades in this country. For the last 70, 75 years, we have built these constitutional mechanisms. But consistently, these people are, you know, trying to hit at the basic foundation, basic framework of our constitution. Today, people are suffering because of COVID, because of lack of jobs. The economy has gone for a toss. Even this year, the GDP is going to be somewhere around minus 8%. This government is hell-bent upon, you know, bringing a new agenda as soon as they are into problems. To cover up for their CAA NRC, to cover up for their economic uh, disaster that Modi has brought in. Now he has brought this new one, you know, one nation, one election. India is a diverse country. India is one nation, but diverse uh, uh, cultures, diverse languages diversity unity in diversity is our principle and now you are trying to uh, you know, curtail the diversity and bring in unity how is it possible to bring in unity without you know, fostering diversity first you need to foster diversity diversity is an essence in democracy mr modi and we all have to all intelligentsia all uh, citizens of this country should 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 keep their ears and eyes open this is a huge I feel this is, there is some conspiracy that BJP, RSS and Modi are doing. And if we all sleep and if we all be in slumber, our future generations are at risk. These people will curtail our democracy and cut and, you know, demolish all the democratic institutions in this country that one fine day when you wake up, you will have nothing in your hands. You will have no power at all. Once, every five years once, just imagine you are fooled for some reason, maybe for your religion, maybe for your language, maybe for in the name of Pakistan, in the name of China, in the name of, you know, army, in the name of Ram, in the name of Krishna. Now they'll bring some other, you know, one more Ram Janma Krishna. After Ram, after Ram Janmabhumi, they'll bring Krishna Janmabhumi. Like that, if they consistently fool you once every five years, just imagine what will be the fate of this country. Already this one decade, I would rather call from 2014 till 2024. Please understand, this will be the worst period of Indian uh, democracy. This will be a decade of decay, financially, you know, economically, socially, politically, on all fronts. India, India will be a failed country. And now, if you, if the democracy also fails, just imagine what will be the fate of your country. So let us save our. Uh, country and our constitution from these fascist forces one election one nation many elections one nation many cultures one nation many languages one nation many states and and that diversity unity in diversity should be the essence of our country Jain.